they even, most of you have Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts that you use from a business perspective. And it would be nice to be able to back up the contacts, the wall posts, you know, those endorsements that you get, retweets, followers, all of that um, in the case that your account is violated in some way. So the Service Save program, what do you get with the Service Save program when you're coming into SOS? Well, it's exchange backup and granular recovery, so there's not a separate module that you have to pay for. Uh, it's just included with a Server Save license, so you can recover all the way down to the message level, individual contacts, calendar item, etc. cetera. Uh, you can also migrate an entire Exchange server. It's very, very powerful stuff there. Bare Metal Image Creator and Image Stream. So Image Creator is the application that we are using to create the images of different system volumes, whether it's you know, your application database or anything of that nature. And an image stream is an upload agent that is specifically designed to take these large image files off-site. So that's, so that's very nice. That's been a big limitation of image-based backup in the cloud is, well, no one's program is really designed to do that. Well, that's exactly what we designed this program to do, is take these large files off-site. Pulse centralized management, this is a agent-based system where you install Pulse alongside each backup deployment and it will report back to you with uh, you know, date of the backup, you know, start time, end time, total files backed up, files not backed up, etc. So, so that's nice. Uh, again, with our system, you could always monitor those types of things with any third-party uh, management system that you have uh, just through the Windows Event Viewer, but uh, with this, we give you a little more granular review when it comes to what actually happens with the backup. So that's nice. Online backup and recovery. This is that endpoint solution. You know, what do you, what can you put at an, on a workstation or laptop that's both simple and easy to use and secure? Uh, Premier Web Integration. This is a big part of helping our partners get to market. The Web Integration Package, and the reason we call it a Web Integration Package is because it was based off our partners needs to integrate our APIs into various merchant systems uh, or any other kind of proprietary website. That way your customers wouldn't have to log into uh, our website or you wouldn't have to log into our website just to get to here if you were on site. It would just seem as if it was all in house. And it's nice. Uh, it supports authorized.net, PayPal Pro, and PayPal Standard. You don't actually have to do any integration. We've done this for you. It's just to describe what the package does. Uh, and you just plug in your information and you're good to go. Uh, we turn around the web integration packages uh, pretty quickly. The standard turnaround for our partner programs these days is you know, within two weeks. Uh, of course, there's things on both sides that we need to get it done, but that was versus the three months or so and the $10,000 that we were finding our partners to be spending on third-party developers working with systems they weren't really familiar with or anything else. And then we have the mobile applications, which we will be releasing in a neutral branded format for all of your users to take advantage of. So we have, the, again, the Droid we just released with SOS, and we expect by the end of this quarter to have it in a neutral brand that, you, that your customers could use. Of course, you could always co-brand our service and you know, powered by SOS, and then there's no, nothing stopping you from having all your users using that. I put an application in the Symbo, although Apple's a little more finicky than what we can submit and so it is submitted under SOS technologies, and then you know we'll move in the Blackberry as uh, Rim get the, their things together. Does anyone have any questions? Especially as we move through features, and um, we're going to get to competitive information here in a second. All right, Tim has a good question. Does it work with management programs like Kaseya? Well, we don't have a specific plug-in or module for Kaseya, but Kaseya is one of those flexible programs where you can, they're really moving towards a brand agnostic, you know, management. So as long as you know what program you want to monitor, you can do that. And again, the service runs as a, a Windows managed service, so you can follow the service, you can follow the scheduled task, you can follow the executables, the Windows event log viewer, um, pretty flexible on what, what you want to do there. 
So here we have a competitive comparison of where you know, the SOS product before service save and what service save was and who we were competing against. Yeah, so previously um, the SOS business file and folder program and the SOS home program competed strictly really with the big guys Carbonite and Mosey and still beat them out on a lot of a lot of features, particularly in, in upload speed. If you go to the business page of our, um, our website, you'll see a speed test page, and that shows how much faster our upload time was versus Carbonite and Mosey, and that's because we don't throttle data. And we want you to get it up and in the cloud as quickly as possible. So SOS is an extremely quick solution. Um, also, automatic and infinite archiving is something that we found to be necessary and not really a nice to have about online backup. If, you, if you're going to back up stuff, it should always be there. Every version of it, every file should always be there. Um, we don't believe in limiting you to retrieval for you know 30 or 45 days. You can recover any of your data at any time. Also, we don't limit to where you can back up. You can use our software to back up to any location. You can back it up to a thumb drive if you want to. I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but that's just an example of how flexible our solution is. Then we introduced SOS Server Safe in November of 2011. And that brought to light and brought to functionality for all of our partners and um, enterprises physical virtual conversion. Uh, bare metal backup for applications like Exchange, SQL, and SharePoint and Windows servers. Um, it, it offers complete system state and app data backup. And recovery is very easy and uh, granular recovery is available for Exchange. So SOS Server Save is a, a completely different product that really doesn't play in the space of SOS file and folder business and SOS for home or Carbonite or Mosey. It really plays in this space. Yep, this is the space it plays in now. So SOS Service Day rivals a different breed of competitor. We're really uh, comparing to Zenith, Intronus, Acronis, Evault, um, Astigra, all of those guys. It's a, a complete solution that offers bare metal backup and recovery for pretty much any server in your business and a complete laptop and workstation recovery solution as well. Yeah, and again, a lot of our partners up until November were also partnered with these companies for their local backup and image-based backup and recovery strategies. Uh, since the addition of ServerSafe, we've seen a tremendous rate of conversion for our older partners uh, leaving those relationships and coming on to SOS now that we're pretty much providing exactly what they're providing and at a fraction of the cost. We have some good questions coming in. Uh, we have one, any plans for Windows 7.5 mobile Mango support? Well, we, Zach, we support, or I'm sorry, Eric, we, we plan on supporting all major mobile platforms. Uh, once that develops a little more, then we'll certainly get into that. John asks, do you have any plans to add sync or web dev access to the cloud file similar to Dropbox? Well, funny chef, we do have an SOS Collaborate service which does play a little more in that realm. Uh, as far as the backup is concerned, backup and storage services like Dropbox or Box.net are... They're not backup services, yeah. <laughs> to, to put it very blunt. Yeah, they're online storage and yeah, they'll, they'll keep data there, but that's really where the, the rubber meets the road in comparing against backup and storage. Backup is, is really a tool. Storage is kind of a nice to have. Backup means you're going to write many times and read rarely, whereas storage means you're going to write a few times and read all the time or share or comment. Um, so yeah, Derek is, is right when he says we do have SOS Collaborate, which is a Dropbox-like service, and it's a secure Dropbox-like service, um, but it's not backup. So um, your partner specialist can absolutely tell you more about SOS Collaborate, um, and it is available. Yeah, and I recommend it. I, I, I use it all the time. It's it's great. So Tim has another question. You advertise or another comment and question. You advertise that you don't throttle backup speed. Are there options to throttle for the purpose of keeping some bandwidth available for regular internet usage? Great question. 
yes, there is an option in the advanced options tab when you go to the software to uh, set you know how much you like to you like to use. Now the throttling is rather light because throttling for the most part in our service is automatic. It's pretty much going to play very nicely, but uh, very much secondarily to every other process that's running. You'll see your throttle, your bandwidth really speed up and speed down as the rest of your network um, shares that connection. So if you're running our backup, you won't all of a sudden see that you know all of your other upload processes are are going down. For the most part, no one's uploading a whole lot of data. You know your your regular upload usage is pretty uh, light, and when you're backing up, of course, that's what you're doing. When you're downloading and you're recovering data, unless it's just simple file and folder, like if you're trying to recover a lot of stuff, you probably want to use as much as you can. My guess does SOS allow web-based server backups? Well, all you have to do is install a program on the web server. So if you have remote access, you know, contact your data center company and see if you know they'll let you get in there and, and install a backup program to run that. But basically our our system's limited to your access to the machine and to the files. If you can install the program and if the Windows user can read and write those files, whether that's a network drive, a map drive, NAS, whatever it is, we can back up the information from that. Alex asks, how do you back up Gmail? Um, at the moment, Gmail backup is not available, but we're looking to have it available in later 2010. And the idea behind doing that is that any of your online services can get compromised or hacked at any time. Um, it's good to be able to have all that information. I mean, I, I have information in there that I probably shouldn't have in there <laughs> in my own Gmail account, um, and I should have it backed up somewhere. And we've got some other questions coming in. All right, so uh, Mike says, this is my dedicated server, and I figured it would. Thanks. Yeah, terrific. That's you know we. That's a big differentiator between us and other cloud-based solutions. Also, Mike, is that we build ours with the intention of our customers using a hundred percent of what we give them, rather than a lot of services. They they limit you and they kind of hobble what you can do as a user. You know, you can't get external drives. You can't get certain file types. You can't get map network drives. You know, if the information is important to you, go get it. And, that, and that's our take on the whole thing. Another question from, um, forgive me if I say this incorrectly, Emery, Emery, is deduplication built into your solution? Well, there is there is a layer of deduplication on our backup server side, but it may not be exactly what you're asking for. But our, our front side system looks at files uniquely based on the complete file path. For instance, if you have, you know, a file called quotes and it's under it's under some folder for direct customers, and then you have another file called quotes, same file type, but it's under a different file path, deduplication would see those as the same file and one would get overwritten, even though they could be completely separate. Uh, our system would see those as completely separate because we look all the way back to the machine name and then the complete file path. So that's how our system works. It's more of a backup feature than a, uh, a storage option feature. And deduplication on our end is a lot different than what you may be asking. Our deduplication has to do with kind of a bit level deduplication when we're talking about delta level backups. Uh, Eric asks, do you have any SPLA agreements with Intel hybrid cloud services? And I kind of revert back to Shayla, but I do not believe we do. Um, not that I'm aware of, though I have to admit I would need to do my research on what that is. Yeah, good question. Cool. All right, and I don't see any more questions right now, so we'll go ahead and move on. Um, that was just a quick slide on our recent fourth time win of the PC Magazine Editor's Choice Award for online backup, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and it's for the version 5.0 software which SOS Server State is built on. So we're pretty happy about that. Um, you can rest assured that PC Magazine has seen what we're doing and is happy with it. Yeah. And what's funny is that they still have the screenshot from our old beta, which is our first, our first award with them was in our version 1 beta. And 
we've built kind of a culture around being winners here at SOS, and uh, it has to do with our dedication to security. So again, you know, it's very tempting to pull in like sync features uh, into a backup application or move from backup into more of a storage option, but really we're focusing on security. So those of you dealing with high security needs clients, so like anyone in financial industry, legal, government, education, healthcare, that's really where we're pretty untouchable. It's where we're number one. Zach asked, how do you compare in features to Doyen's? Um, number one, I can tell you that this is a much more affordable solution than Doyen's. Doyen's does, however, have an option that, that offers um, cloud failover. Derek, correct me if I'm wrong on that. And that's not something that SOS ServerSafe does at this time, but it will do later in the year. Additionally, um, if you're a managed service provider, you have to consider what you're getting as a reseller. The SOS 360 degree partner program is an extremely comprehensive reseller program that really is a business in, bo in a box for you um, to go to market very quickly and have all the materials for sales, marketing, um, and industry backup information to get you in there with your clients um, and get you selling. Yeah, and you know, let's just go into that and let's show you what this looks like and then we'll go back more into uh, kind of our competitive discussion after we run through the, the program and the software a, a bit. Alex asked, do you require exclusive agreements with partners when they are reselling your products? We do not require exclusive agreements. We do have some partners with exclusivity, but it's not typically something we do. Uh, we did, and I don't believe we've done an exclusive agreement for a number of years, actually. Again, uh, a huge amount of value that, that SOS brings to the table for all you guys is our flexibility. We don't force you to buy any hardware. We don't force you into exclusivity. We don't really force you to do anything um, other than use our, our secure cloud and, and our military-grade uh, data centers, which is really what you're buying the service for anyway. Any more questions? Um, while this demo gets popped up here. We're more than happy to answer anything you guys have got. Okay, so first I'm just gonna, I just remote it into a Server 2008 box running R2. And first I'm just gonna go through the, the back end. So like, what is the web package? The web package is a completely unique thing that SOS has come up with. There is no like offering in it or in the market. Uh, it, it really is quite special, but we saw it as, a, as an important item to help our partners really launch not only this service, but launch into the managed service market. Um, the use of the prog program is also quite flexible and up to you. We have some partners who loved it so much that they moved from all their primary websites into their into this as their primary website. Uh, we have another, another set of customers who uh, have a bit of a balance. You know, they have their primary, you know, say acbetechnologies.com and then they use it as a pseudo product site. And then we have other partners who are very advanced in their web development, their SEO, and, and they're not going to change any of that stuff. So they just use this site as a, a portal for the customers to log into and sign up on. Or if you get to that point, you just take our APIs and you build it yourself. Tim has a good question. Do you pay for what you use? Or do you have to purchase a set amount before you can sell? Um, we are a wholesale program, so we do offer wholesale pricing on cloud space and storage. 